Hello everyone, my name is Ashok and welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will understand how to install MySQL database server and database client softwares in Windows machine step by step. Before getting started, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Go to Google and type download MySQL database server. Go to MySQL official website. Select the database version and click on download and you can download it. You can see in the downloads folder that installer got downloaded. Just double click on that. Then installation process got started. Just select that option. Click on next. Click on next. It is getting installed now. Click on next. You can see the installation process is in progress. Here you can configure database information. The default username it will take as your root. Now we are giving the password. You can give any password and confirm the password. Click on next. Click on next. Grant the permissions for the user. Click on next. Now you can see the installation is in progress. Click on finish. With this our database server software got installed. By default it will give a client software which is CLI client. Open that client software. Enter the password that we have selected. We connected to database server from command line. Here execute show databases. So these are the default databases which are provided by MySQL. We can create our own database using this command create database database name. With this database got created. Use the database. Database got changed. Now show tables. It is going to show what are the tables available in the database. Currently, no tables available. Let's create one table. Create table, table name, columns, book ID, integer type, comma, book name, it is a where care, book price, it is a double type. With this, database got created successfully. Select the start from table name. As it is a new table, there are no records available. We can insert a record by using insert query. Insert into book values, book ID, book name, comma book price. Record inserted successfully. Now execute. Select a star from book. We can see the record we have inserted. Yes, the record we have inserted, we are able to get it using select command. Now I am going to show you how to download MySQL Workbench software to communicate with the database. Download it. Workbench got downloaded. Go to downloads. You can see MySQL Workbench. Just double click on that. Next, next and install this software. Workbench software is getting installed. So this is more user friendly client to execute our queries. Workbench got installed successfully. The Workbench dashboard will display like this. So create a new connection. You can give any name for the connection. Host name, it is running in the same machine, port number 3306. Give the password we have selected for the database. Now we can test the connection. Connection is successful. Click on OK. Now our database connection got created. Double click on this. Now our SQL editor got opened. Now we can write the queries here. Show databases. Control enter will execute that query. Our database created is displaying. Use the database. Database got selected. Now execute the query, show tables. It will display all the tables we have in the database. We have only book table. Select a star from table name. There is only one record available in the table. You can write the query here. Insert into book values. Second record I'm inserting into the database table. Execute that query. Record is inserted. Select star from table. We can see the second record we have inserted. So you can connect with the database from the CLI or by using Workbench. Using Workbench is the recommended option. 